Hello, boys and girls, welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we have uh, dealt with uh, adding a new setup for copper wires and uh, green circuits. And by the looks of it, we are looking better uh, than at the start of the of the last episode but we also added a lot more trains to the system so that we occasionally have uh, train jams here around um, or in in other highly uh, frequented parts of our network uh, but today we will not focus on the train issues today we want to get a new armor so um, I think the, the most difficult part will be the, the modules um, we need two modules so for that we need red and uh, blue circuits um, plus uh, we need the module ones um, for that we also need green so let's see uh, what we can get here uh, low density structures we can see uh, material is backlogging um, however we only have the uh, at least here we have the bottom chest filled so that tells me that probably the factories are a bit too slow and we need three stacks for our armor we might need then more for uh, other things but we will come to that then let's see where we can get the electric motors and then we will probably steal some circuits um, in order to uh, craft ourselves a bit of armor I think Ooh, that was a close one um, we do have motors here how much do I need 40 uh, let's take 50 one stack and then yes the rest that's uh, all circuits so let's head down here where we have all the circuit production Um, let's take two stacks of the green ones then probably one stack red oh. and a stack blue however blue only stacks to 100 pieces um, so now then let's see what we get from that we need 25 modules okay um, I think we need a bit more than just one stack of each uh, especially we will probably then also need um, something that's three stacks and 
We are running out of green circuits. That's probably the thing that we need most anyway. So, yeah, running speed, not that great. So, oh, yeah, we also need a bit more red ones. And then we have to repeat the same thing for the efficiency modules before we can craft our armor. So that will certainly take a while until we get that all crafted up. So I will make a cut here and uh, once we have the armor crafted uh, we can then see what we need to put into the armor. There we have the new armor. So let's put a few things aside. Uh, then we can basically clean out this one. Switch them out. And add things back in. The solar panels are not really good enough because they cannot power uh, the personal robots for uh, any length of time. So we actually need a bit more juice. And for that, I think portable fusion reactor is, is the thing to go. Just need a tiny bit more um, of the blue ones. And we can craft ourselves one. And then we probably also want... Yeah, let's make three. Uh, that's what we can do and we want to have uh, where are they where are they personal laser defense for that we need a few laser turrets um, should not be that hard but we also need a few more uh, of the blue ones oh and while i am down here we do have a tiny problem with our uh, refinement here because you can see um the light green are stuck here behind the dark green um because of things so what we will do here is we will do this and then basically we add them back here on in these chests And hopefully that works out. Yeah, that down here does not. We need to have it here on this level and then let's restrict all these boxes to one stack and then let's collect all of these
put them in here and then have the rest also in here so first um, we uh, output here and input there um, and anything that we do not manage to grab the first time around will go up here and take another run so basically here we probably have an uh, infinite loop uh, uh, onto the point where we just get get stuck with it so that should solve this problem and uh, yeah we have the portable fusion reactor we have three of these um, maybe we want to have a bit uh, better batteries um, but uh, with, with the fusion reactor it's not that important anymore uh, what we need however is something else that I are ah, batteries we need batteries and probably a bit of steel for the uh, for the laser turrets batteries we have up here so um, well one is probably not enough which means uh, we need to get ourselves a bit more steel to be able to um, have a few more let's see if we have some more steel in these ones one two three four five that should give us five laser turrets um let's have another one and we need 10 personal batteries for one big one big one has 100 megajoules and a small one has 20. Um, they take the same amount of space so How many? We have three, so we would need seven more to create one of of these, and then we would be better off than we are already. So let's let's finish this. Um, maybe have a, a few more laser turrets, and then we can actually go on another hunt for um, um, for aliens because up here our pollution gets uncomfortably close and um, last time I I checked the situation with our uh, supply it looks like the problem that we are not producing more circuits uh, for once is not the copper wire but the iron plates because if you look at um, this we have 25 trains that that pick up 
uh, iron and um, probably we are not producing enough. I think we are set here. We have upgraded our uh, armor. We can move a bit faster. We have quite a bit more firepower. We have better batteries. We have better roboports. We have the additional robots. So that should also help uh, with building. So let's actually head out, visit some aliens and see um, if we do something to them or if they do something to us. Here we are uh, near the closest nest to our base. So uh, let's see how well this new armor holds up. Yes, even against the green biters, they have, they have no chance. Did not even need any fish so looking at the pollution we probably should scout a bit more here in uh, in this region because i imagine that soon we will need to hook up more um iron iron fields and possibly um copper fields and I'm eyeing these two. We would also have an option down here, uh, but we also need to figure out how we are look, looking down here in this general area. So uh, I will make a sweep around and then at the end we can uh, have final overview um, how we are actually looking with the new surrounding uh, uncovered. A bit more of the map is uncovered and as you can see down here we have actually water all around here uh, probably some more land uh, on the other side um, so if we would decide to add mines here we probably should look around here in this direction just to make sure um, about the pollution because pollution over water spreads really well because there is nothing that absorbs it here on this side also did a bit more exploring and clearing out uh, so we do have uh, these two fields at our disposals. There are some more over here. Uh, and we can then decide which way we want to go. But for now that's all. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, join me next time when we probably will try to solve some more rail network problems. Until then, goodbye!